Okay, good evening. Uh, we are about to start with today's class, uh, but we're gonna wait a minute because uh, it's missing one minute. And uh, I'm gonna wait for the students. <laughs> good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Marlon? Very good, teacher. Very good. Okay, nice. Cool. I'm gonna um, start in a in a minute, right? Okay, teacher. Hoy no se me fue la luz. Ah, today. Sí, ayer bien raro que ayer no llovió fuerte y se fue la luz aquí. Ah, really? Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Sí, me imagino. Okay. Esperamos que ahora se pueda trabajar muy bien, así que vamos a primeramente Dios a trabajar las dos horas completas ahí. Ok, dice. Ok, eh, Morgan. Eh, thanks for being early. I don't know if you got a question about some previous classes para aprovechar el tiempo si tienen preguntas de las clases anteriores. Mm. Dice que no, no, teacher, sí se, se entiende. Ah, okay, okay. ¿Verdad? Sí, solo que como es de, es de practicar y está repasando. Ok, good. Sí, si no, por okay. gusto, teacher. <laughs> ok, cool. Ok, uh, did you work today, Marlon? Yes, teacher, yes. Yeah, sure. But Casi. online or uh, presencial? <laughs> Pues, y yo prácticamente no, no he descansado toda la cuarentena. Siempre he estado yendo. Ah, ok. Es como en contabilidad. Ah, yeah, sure. You, you don't have to sí. treat with people, right? No tiene que tratar sí. directamente con personas. Sí, o sea, siempre. O sea, prácticamente todos descansando en la cuarentena. Nosotros siempre preparando ah, okay. todas las cosas. Pero okay. todavía somos de los sobrevivientes. Somos sobre survivors porque... Gracias a Dios estamos todavía. Nada de nothing of coronavirus. Nada, gracias a Dios, nada. Thanks, God. Ok, eh, me alegra ahí, Morgan. That's good. Ok, good yes. evening, William. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, very good. Ah, ok, nice. Nice to see you. Good evening, Mary. Good evening. How are you? I'm tired. Really? <laughs> yeah, you, you look tired. Okay. <laughs> but don't you? worry. I don't feel good. Really good. Yeah, a little bit tired. As you see, my eyes, um, you know, tiny. Yeah. <laughs> How do you but say your hair? I don't know. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to tell you the same questions. <laughs> this eye, right? Uh, it look a little bit different. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but uh, the most important point is that we have job, we are working, yes. and uh, that's a blessing, right? Okay, that's good. Nice, cool. Okay, good evening, Tatiana. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine. Okay, nice. Yeah, cool. And uh, Marlon, uh, if you can turn on the webcam, it will be nice. Va a ser genial ahí, Marlon. Ahí para que... Ok, teacher. Lo que pasa es que tengo, tengo los frijoles molidos ahorita aquí enfrente. <laughs> ah, ok, está ahí. <laughs> Pero ya, solo, me termino todo, solo me termino este oral del francés y... y ah, okay. Diciendo... ok, ok, ok. No problem. No hey, problem. Teacher. Okay, that's it. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, yesterday class we were discussing about zero conditional, right? The use of if 
can be used of when. Yep, did you remember? I hope so. <laughs> okay, hey, let's see this. Uh, in yesterday's class, we were talking about if. Yeah, ¿se recuerdan? Ok, cool. If lo podemos utilizar in two ways, en dos formas. ¿Cuál es el? Al principio y en medio. Ok, yeah, that's good. At the beginning, beginning right, beginning like this, and in the middle. Middle, like this one. Okay, uh, what's gonna be the difference? At the beginning, we don't, we wanna use a comma, right? And in the middle, we are not gonna use a comma. The same happened with when. Uh, lo mismo pasa con when. When is not different. Do you remember when? And uh, <laughs> what does it mean when? When is cuando? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but in this case, it's going to be uh, a zero condition. Va a condicionar las oraciones que vamos a poner después. Con a condition and then a result, obviously. Okay, eh, when pasaba lo mismo. We can use at the beginning, vamos a ponerle así. And in the middle. In the middle too. Y en medio. ¿Cómo así? Veamos un ejemplo. If. Luego ponemos una condition. For example. Give me an example. Yeah. Ok. If. I. If I sleep, no, I'm not going to say this. If, if I take a nap, ya saben que es eso? Take a nap. Take a nap. Oh. Uh -huh. No. Descanso o siesta. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Es una siesta. Es una, tomar un pequeño receso, una siesta, right? Like a baby. Okay, uh, if you, if I take a nap, ¿Qué va después de acá? I'm gonna add a comma, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. If I take a nap, what will be the result? What will be the result? If I take a nap, imagine. I will feel better. Yeah, very good. I will feel better. It could be happy too, right? <laughs> okay, like this. Eh, el resultado de dormir o tomar una siestita ahí nos puede hacer sentir mejor o muy felices. Right? Yeah, this is that right. Okay. Podemos poner lo mismo con if in the middle. ¿Cómo así? ¿Cómo sería entonces? I will feel better. Feel better, yeah. If, uh, if I take a nap. If I take a nap. Yeah, very good. As you see, it's the same. It's the same uh, sentence. But uh, we don't have a comma, right? Because we got it if in the middle. In the middle, no va a tener una coma. But we're going to put the result at the beginning. Pero vamos a agregar el resultado en el eh, inicio, right? Okay, now we're going to go with the example of when. Vamos a pasar con when. Eh, con when pasa lo mismo. For example, when I go home, when I go home early, when I go home early, what's happened? Cuando llegan temprano a casa. Uh, give me a result. No me regaña mi esposa. <laughs> okay, okay. Vamos a poner así, my wife. 
is happy, right? Like this. Okay, as you see here, we got we add a comma because we got n at the beginning, at the very beginning. Podemos poner the same uh, example in the middle, right? My wife is happy when I go home early. Yeah, like this, right? It's okay? Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you, Marlon, for the example, right? Uh, okay, <laughs> that's good. Uh, as you see here, guys, uh, we're going to use when. Si utilizamos when y if al inicio, obviamente vamos a poner una coma para definir el resultado. ¿Sí? Y si lo van a hacer in the middle, no lleva coma. Ponemos el resultado primero y luego la condición. You got it? Or you got a question about this? No questions? Okay, that's good. I think this is really easy for you and that's amazing. Okay, uh, good evening, guys. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Good job. <laughs> you are a child. Tell me, Tatiana. Este, en el ejercicio de la plataforma que está con, con if, es, da error, ya probé de mil maneras y de error y, ah, okay. y incluso nosotros lo resolvimos en clase ayer Ah, really? <laughs> ok, that's good, we're gonna check it out, right? Vamos a ver si me sale mal a mí, es que tenemos que practicar más hey, Let's oh see, uh, we're gonna go to this Sí, las de cuadrito dan problemas Ah, ok <laughs> Recuerden que la plataforma está hecha para que practiquemos muchas veces ahí. Uh -huh. And you never Después de 10 veces sale bien. Ah, 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 ah. Después de unas 10 veces yo sé que le va a salir bien. Ok, eh, let's see. Eh, ¿Cuál eh, exercise? Ah, 19 creo que es. Sí. This one. No, 15 creo que es. Ok. 15. O oh, 19. No, la 19 es. La 19. 19? Okay, let's keep it. Uh -huh. Okay. Onward 19. Let's see this. I'm gonna wait for a while, right? And sometime uh, we're gonna uh, find a couple of this. This one, right? Yes. Okay, with... with uh, what, what number? All of them. Okay, let's see. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué número es, Tatiana? Todas. Ah, todas, ok. <risa> <risa> También en el examen, ¿eh? son las únicas que no he terminado porque no... Son las okay. mismas. Ok, that's good. Uh, in this case, let me see, complete the sentence using the word provide and correct the verb. Correct the verb. Ok, that's good. Ok, nice. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, Um, so, son demasiadas ahí por el tiempo de la clase. Eh, we're gonna do something. Vamos a hacer algo. Las voy a desarrollar. If I, if I make a mistake or if I find something weird, I'm going to report to the, the admin, right? Para la administración. <laughs> Veamos. Eh, ¿Y si hace otra? una para, para ver si le sale bien? Ok, that's good. Tatiana, thank you. Ok. <laughs> my son, uh, born the food is... Ok, my son. son born. Born the food. The food. If, he if he cooks. Alone. Alone. Ok, that's good. Ah, oh, really nice. Okay. Teacher, Teacher Boom, no lleva a ese porque está hablando de él. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, it, it, we got a mistake here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to write it again. Cook, 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 lleva a ese. Cook, okay. My 
Still wrong. Still wrong. Okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna check to the administration, right? Because sometimes uh, we get at some trouble with this. But let me uh, give me a minute. Yeah, that's right. I got it. I got it. What? Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's missing the, the point right at the end. Okay. The point. <laughs> Ok, tenemos que agregarle ese pequeño yeah. puntito. E ese fue un tips que me dio eh, Mary. Eh, eh, ella lo desarrolló así y poniéndole el puntito funcionó, right? Así que ahí. Mayor que la. Ya. Yeah. Eh, hay que volver a poner la oración. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo, Ángel? Eh, todo, todo lo que puso ahí en el son, my son. Ah, ok. Ah. Póngalo en mayúscula. Y, y el punto al final, toda la oración. Toda, ok. Ok, ok, that's good. That's nice. Eh, en, la, en la primera sí tendría que ir Will, ¿verdad? A mí me la tomó de minúscula. Uh -huh. Ah, y todo. Ok. Pero me dio error siempre. Ok, really, uh, we're going to check it out. Uh, can you uh, tell me this exercise, Tatiana? ¿Cómo vamos a poner aquí? If. I wake up yep. late. Uh, uh, comma, I will be late for work. Work. Okay, that's good. Okay, give me a minute. It's missing the point, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, it's a still, it's a still wrong. I don't know why. Okay, if I wake up, we'll do that. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, I'm gonna do it that like this. Fabricio in, in minuscula, right? Mm -hmm. I wake up late. Uh, come on. I will be. I will be late for work. For work. Right. Okay, let's see this. Puntito there. Okay, it's still wrong. Let me see. Wrong. I'm going to try something. Uh, yeah, it's still wrong, right? Okay, um, we're going to check it out, right? Uh, with the administration, because sometimes we get at some problem with this. But uh, the rest, you can add a point, right? El resto podemos agregarle un puntito y las que no salgan buenas, um, voy a chequearlos al demás, más terminemos la clase y les digo, esas no van a salir buenas y pregunto, why, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice, cool. Okay, good evening, Wendy. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very good day. Okay, nice. Cool. Let's see. I hope so. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to... Um, Carlos René, good evening. Nice to see you, boy. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you, too. Yo ya sabía que había visto esa cara en algún lugar, en algún lugar right? <laughs> At the beginning of the classes. Okay, nice. Cool. Okay, vamos acá. Eh, we're gonna start with the attendance list. Yeah, right, the attendance list. Today is 27, I think. I think, yeah, sure. Okay, we're gonna start with Jaime. Jaime Ernesto Hernández Navarrete. All right. eh, Jose Vladimir Escobar Jiménez. No. Okay, Carlos Enrique Martinez Genoves. Are you there? Okay, Wendy Saraí Bonilla Ordóñez. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, let me see. Jose, Jose Angel Santos Martinez. Present teacher. 
Thank you, Jose. Eh, Gabriela Mary Zamora Orellana. Present teacher. Uh, Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Carlos Alfonso Alvarado Hernández. Carlos, no, right. Carlos Alfonso, ahí, aquí estaba, quizás se, se le fue linda. Ok, Fernando de Jesús Roldán. Now for the moment. Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. No. Ok, Carlos Alfonso Alvarado Hernández. Presente, Chor. Ok, thank you. Uh, William yeah. Alexander yeah. Martínez Enríquez. Presente, Chor. Nice. Thank you, William. Miguel Ángel López Crespín. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Eh, Marlon Ernesto Rodríguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Clarissa Yamilet Chacón. No, right. Eh, Daisy Elizabeth Recino Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay, Good evening. You. Good evening. Uh, Tatiana Ivonne Torres. I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Uh, Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. Marvin, no, uh, yeah, you right. Okay, uh, Carlos René Herrera. <laughs> okay, Carlos René Herrera. Presente, teacher. El Fabricio Alexander Jiménez Herrera. I hear teacher. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. Nice, good job. The big boss, right? Okay, let's see. Um, we're going to start with today's class because of the time, right? I'm going to do by myself. And all the time, I'm going to insist on this. Please let me know through WhatsApp. Tenemos un grupo de WhatsApp, ahí envíenme. Teacher, aquí no entiendo. Si quieren privado, teacher, I don't understand this. Si no les contesto rápido, les voy a contestar. <laughs> eh, but, uh, in a moment, right? Pero sí, tenemos que terminar this homework for today and tomorrow. Okay, that's good. We're going to continue with unit number four. We are about to finish with this. And we're going to make a feedback about yesterday's class. In yesterday's class, we were talking about zero conditional, right? Aunque el nombre se llama cero condicional, no es que vamos a utilizar algún zero or something like that. No, right? We're going to use if and when, right? If, que significa si, si ponemos la condición, si, más la condición, más el resultado. Ok, eh, si tenemos if at the beginning, we're going to add a comma. The same happened with when. Yep, and if we got a if in the middle of the sentence, we are not going to use a comma, right? Ok, um, I don't know if you got a question about this. No? Ok, cool, nice. I like it. If you don't have any question, you have to give me an example according to the picture that you're going to see. We're going to see uh, two pictures here. And you can use the conditional and the result. For example, let's get started with this. Ah, what's happened with this? We're going to use if. Ustedes eligen si utilizar if en el inicio o en medio. ¿Quién quiere hacer esta oración? Ahí. These sentences using if and a condition and as a result. Okay, go ahead, Fabricio. Thank you. Mira, más fácil y fresca. Okay, okay. <laughs> if I wait late, okay. I will leather for work. I will leather. Late. I will be. I will. I. I will be leather. Late for work. Late, perdón. Late for work. Yeah, very good. Congratulations, Fabricio. Aquí le salió bien en la plataforma. Sometimes, you know, we get a folder. Ni modo, right? Eh, lo bueno es que están correctos. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're going to get a second example of this. Let me see. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, who wants to do this one? You can use when or if if you want. Pueden utilizar cualquiera, when or if is the same. Raise your hands. You can do it. Don't be shy. I I go to the bank when the new loan. Okay, okay, okay. Wendy, uh, can you repeat that again, please? I'm sorry. Lo voy a intentar, by this. Okay. I, I go to the bank when the new alone. Okay, okay, that's good, Wendy. That's good. You got the idea, right? Okay, Wendy, vamos a apoyarle ahí. Me llega. Eh, vamos con todo. Y eso es bueno, que lo intentemos. Eh, I go, I go to the bank. I go. I go to the bank. Uh, when? When? When my when? Hijos son. Ah. Okay. Uh, we are talking es about yourself, right? Estamos hablando de usted misma. Entonces el resultado va a ser uh -huh. suyo. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Usted va al banco cuando. I, I, <laughs> when I, I knew alone. When I need alone. Yes, really good. Thank you, Wendy. That's a nice word. Okay, really good. I hope that um, that was all the feedback for yesterday's class. Right now, I'm going to continue with module number four. The topic from yesterday was zero conditional. Today class, we're going to see time clauses, right? Time clauses. This could be almost the same. <clears throat> so, esto va a ser casi lo mismo. Ya vamos a ver cómo es eso. Okay, let's see. But before we're going to uh, read the today's objective, I need somebody who help me to read it. Please. Who wants the to read it? The I'm sorry? Le va distorsionado. Le. No sé si. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, probably the internet connection, Carlos. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, let me see. Marlon, can you read the specific one, please? That's an objective. Specific. Participant will be able to give instructions on what to do about a push order of a company. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Really nice work. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go with Tatiana. Can you help me with the class objective, Tatiana? At the end of the class, participant will be able to know how how to use time clouds. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Good. Okay, basically, we're gonna see about push order. Uh, what we see at the beginning of the mo of the module, right? And also, uh, you're gonna be able to know at least how to use time clauses. Ya vamos a ver qué son esas time clauses. Así que let's get started with this. Uh, before to uh, continue with this topic, we're gonna have some useful words. That's what uh, we need to know this. Okay, uh, who can tell me uh, how do you say this in English? Tan pronto como, as soon as. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Really good, as soon as. Tan pronto como. Take note if you don't know this. Eh, what about this one? How do you say this? Hasta. Un, un, until. 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 Hasta. Muy bien. In this case, students, uh, sometimes you're going to hear only till. Till. Algunas veces solo vamos a escuchar este till, no until, pero lo correcto es decir until, right? Ok, que significa hasta. Ok, what about this one? Ajá. Once. A la vez, no estoy seguro. Ok, ok, that's good. Thank you. Eh, eh, ha, once. You're going to say once. Y Una vez. Explicar? Al, al, a la vez, no sé. Ok, ok, once. Una, una vez. Una, una vez, una vez, ya. Una vez. Una vez. Una vez. Una vez, tal cosa. Por ejemplo, una vez que ustedes terminen la plataforma, tal y tal cosa va a suceder algo hermoso, right? 
Entonces, eh, once. Y ahí agregamos la condition and the result. Ok, that's good. Eh, then we're going to continue with this one. Mientras. 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 While. Really good. While. Okay. While. Ok, let's see. I'm going to say this word again in order to understand how you can uh, say these, all of these words. Ok, as soon as. As soon as. Until. 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 Oh. Or only till. Once. Till. Once. While. While. These words is common when you hear once upon a time. Once upon a time. Era hace una vez. Los cuentos ahí maravillosos para dormir, right? Once upon a time. <laughs> okay, that's good. While. Este es mientras. Eh, también puedes decir uh, meanwhile, mientras tanto, meanwhile. Aquí agregamos mean y luego while. Meanwhile, mientras tanto. And so on, right? Okay, that's good. You got a question about this? No questions? Okay, I hope so. Okay, let's see this. Ah, yeah, we uh, passed the attendance already. Ya esto ya lo hicimos, así que we're going to continue with this one, with the main topic, right? We're going to have the time classes, but at the very beginning, we're going to see what are time classes. We need to know this. I like this uh, brief explanation about this. Okay, uh, uh, Rodrigo, can you help me to read it, please? What are time clauses? A yes. time clause? Clauses, es verdad, clause. Uh, clause. Clause. clause is a type of, of other clause that begins with a time word. Okay, that's good. Nice. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> as you see here, this is a type of other. Este básicamente es un tipo de, de adverbio. What is an adverb? ¿Qué es un adverbio? Okay, <laughs> you can uh, you can answer me in Spanish if you want. Tiempo, lugar. Ajá, que indique el tiempo. Un tiempo, lugar, y va a modificar a quién? Al verbo. Al verbo, muy bien. El adjetivo modifica o le da una característica al nombre, ¿verdad? Right? Al nombre. Y el adverbio al verbo. Veamos esto. Esto es bien sencillo, así que uh, that's why I'm going to try to explain you uh, in Spanish, right? Okay, we got it before, after, when, as soon as, until, and while. Before? Antes. Antes. Okay, that's good. After? Después. Después. Okay. Cuando. When? Cuando. Cuando. As soon as? Tan pronto como. Okay. Until? Hasta. While? Mientras. Okay, that's good. You can use this at the very beginning of a sentence. Vamos a utilizar esto al inicio de una oración. No quiere decir que es una regla así, solo al inicio. No, right? Pueden utilizarlo al inicio or in the middle. Veamos acá. Al inicio eh, es lo más común utilizarlo. Vamos a agregar plus a subject and verb plus un sujeto, que es un pronombre, un nombre, whatever you want. Si vamos a hablar de, eh, por ejemplo, de la computadora, subject. Uh, Fabricio, subject. Rodrigo, subject. Whatever you want, right? Eh, plus a verb. Obviamente, después de un subject, tenemos que agregar un verbo, que va a ser el que va a modificar this one, right? And also a time class, right? que es the result of that. Eh, básicamente, este va a ser el resultado de lo que vamos a decir. Es similar a if y when. Todos estos son similares a if and when, básicamente. Solo que acá nos amplía the vocabulary in our mind. Right? Eh, ok, that's good. Uh, we're going to continue with this. We got some example about this. Eh, basically, yesterday class, we were talking about this. If... Cuando utilizamos if, 
Plus present simple, ¿qué va a pasar? Si utilizamos el presente simple, aquí va a ir a future, lo que hablábamos. ¿Por qué? Si uh, denotamos una acción que se hacía en el presente, lo único que podría modificar es el mismo presente o el futuro. Entonces es más común que va a afectar el futuro. Por ejemplo, mire teacher, eh, hoy está haciendo frío, no me voy a bañar. Entonces eso no, no, no tiene ahí mucho, mucha lógica. Ahí tendría que ser, eh, I'm gonna, uh, I take a shower because I will work today. Me voy a bañar porque trabajaré ahora. Right? Ahí sí tiene un sentido común. A scientific fact. Un, eh, un hecho científico, right? Que es, yo sé que toditos nos bañamos dos, tres veces al día, right? <laughs> ok, that's good. <laughs> Pero porque llueve, right? Today. <laughs> ok, we got it this one. Eh, ahora vamos a pasar con when, que también lo vimos el día de ayer. When. In this case, uh, you can use it at the beginning and in the middle. Let's see in the middle. Okay, Jorge, can you help me to read it, please? Uh, in the middle, I, I call you when I get home. Okay, thank you. Very good. Si está en medio el when, quiere decir que el resultado lo pusimos al final o al inicio. Al inicio, teacher. Ok, al inicio, very good, thank you, Jorge. Si ustedes ponen when al inicio, quiere decir que este resultado va a ir al final. When I get home, I'll call you, plus a coma, más una coma después de acá. Luego agregamos esto, right? Eso sí se da Ok, that's good. <laughs> nice. Ok, thank you. Uh, then we're going to have a soon as. Tan pronto como, right? Así me dijeron. Ok, vamos a ver cómo suena. Ed. Ok, that's good. Uh, Mary, can you help me to read this example, please? Uh, I'll call you as soon as I get home. Ok, that's good. Uh, how are you going to sound in Spanish this? Eh, te llamaré tan pronto como llegue a casa. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Really nice. Okay, these sentences, si ustedes notan, as soon as está in the middle, está en medio, pero también este puede pasar al inicio. ¿Cómo estaría al inicio? Mary, can you help me to, to build at the beginning? As... As soon as I get home, I'll call you. I call you, yeah, really good, thank you, nice. Obviously, when we have this at the beginning, we're gonna add a comma, right? Agregamos una coma después de home, y luego agregamos el resultado, yeah? Okay, that's good. Uh, but, we're gonna continue with before. Before, it means antes, antes. Okay, uh, Miguel, can you help me please? Okay, uh, before I call you before I leave. Okay, that's good. Sounds good. What, what does it mean? Uh, te llamaré de, uh, después que me vaya. Uh, antes. Uh, after? Uh, antes de irme. Ah, no, te llamaré antes de ir. Yeah, sure. That's good. Thank you. Very good. You can say also, before I leave, I call you. También pueden decirlo así. Al revés. Y al inicio, I'm sorry, in the middle, right? Okay, we're going to run quickly because of the time. Then we're going to have after. After es después. Uh, let's see, uh, Carlos Enrique. Can you help me to give this one, please? Well, you Okay, thank you. I call you after I speak to Susan, right? Susan, yeah, sure. Okay, uh, in this case, it's happened the same. Pasa lo mismo. Este es lo mismo, solo que cambiamos aquí el sentido. I call you until Dave arrive. Te llamaré hasta que esta persona, Dave, venga. ¿Sí? 
eh, es básicamente lo mismo. I call you while you do shopping. Te llamaré mientras tú estás comprando. ¿Ya? O andas de compra. Ok, en este caso, si ustedes notan, es lo mismo que vimos ayer. If and when. ¿Qué cambia? El sazón, right? Aquí le vamos a poner un poquito de salt. Aquí de... Uh, Help me Wendy with caprica. I don't know, right? Acá le agregamos un poquito de comino. Acá otro poquito de otro eh, sazonador. I don't know what. Y while, pues le podemos agregar ahí un sazón completo. Right? Albajaca. Albajaca. Cilantro, cilantro, right? Romero. And so on, right? Entonces todo esto Son le da sabor no a esa existe. oración. Yeah, sure. Todo esto le da sabor a esa oración. ¿Sí? O sea que ustedes pueden ponerlo al inicio, como está acá, o en the middle of the sentence, right? Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia de esto? El significado, que acá significa si, sí, cuando, tan pronto como, antes, después, hasta y mientras, right? Esa es la única diferencia, el significado. Pero, ¿cómo se va a utilizar? Is the same. You got it? Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I hope so. Right? Okay, really nice. Okay, we see this. And right now, uh, I would like to listen to uh, audio que no pudimos escuchar ayer because of the time, right? De hecho, nos pasamos 10 minutitos de yesterday class. But today, we're going to um, do this right over there. Okay, that's good. Let me see. Okay, give me a chance. Yes, I got it here. Okay, uh, basically students, uh, we're gonna start with this one. Today we're gonna listen an audio between a uh, hotel reservation, right? You know, you can see this view, it's amazing. You can see the, I don't know, this is like a sea, a lot of building and something like that. That's good. We're gonna try to listen to this and please pay full attention, ready? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's good. Here we go. Hi, I have a reservation. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, okay, just give me a minute. I'm gonna, yeah, this one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hey, now I just want to check in. Sure, what's your name? Uh, Mike Adams. Okay, let me check here. Um, here's your key to open your door. You're in room 360. Just walk okay. down the hall. You'll see the elevators on your right. Oh, okay. And what time is the restaurant open for breakfast? It serves breakfast from 6.30 to 10 a.m. Oh, okay. And uh, where's the exercise room? I'd like to, you know, run a couple of miles before going to bed tonight. It's on the second floor and it's open until 10 tonight, okay. but the treadmill isn't working. Oh, oh well. Um, and one final question. Do you have wireless internet in the rooms? We do. Oh. For $7.95 a night. Oh, I thought something like that would be free. No, sorry, sir. But you can get free wireless access if you sit in the parking lot on the north side. Oh. You see, the hotel next to us has wireless and... <laughs> well, great. Um, and, uh, oh, forget that. And uh, every room has a refrigerator, right? Well, we can have one put in your room for an additional $10 a night. Oh, I thought something like that would be included in the price of the room. Sorry, sir. Well, you know what? It kind of irks me when hotels nickel and dime their customers like this. I mean, I check with several. I mean, I check with several. Really should have checked this one too, <laughs> shouldn't you? <buddy? laughs> I'm guessing I, uh, I'm all flustered now. I mean, all the other hotels provide these amenities for free. Sorry, sir. It's just the way it is at this hotel. And the bed, is that extra too? Of course not. Uh, oh, I've had it. I'll just try the hotel across the street. I'm sure they'll, they'll give me better service. Okay, but you'll be canceling your reservation here, so we'll have to charge you a cancellation fee of 50% of the cost of the room. Oh, forget it. I can't win either way. What's my room again? 360. <sighs> okay, that's good. <laughs> you got it, right? More or less. Okay, that's good. It was funny, right? Okay, uh, basically, we're going to answer all of these questions. Where is the men's room in the hotel. What is this? 
what's the meaning of this? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm sorry, Mary. I just read your lips. <laughs> ¿Dónde está la habitación del hombre en el hotel? Ah, ok, ok, that's good. Ahí we're going to see uh, en la primera planta, tercera o segunda. Ya vamos a ver dónde. Ok, then we're going to have this. What time is the breakfast served in the morning? What time? Uh, let's see, William. ¿Qué significa esta question? Ahora sirven el desayuno. Yeah. Algo así. Yeah, the morning, right? Obviously. <laughs> okay. Thank you, William. Nice, cool. Uh, and then uh, we got some schedule here. De la 6 a la 10 y 30, de la 6 y 30, ta, 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 and so on, right? And this one, Wendy, can you translate these uh, equations? Wendy, where can the men get a free wireless internet connection? Okay, I think when is counting money or something like that, right? Ah, no, no, no. Eh, <laughs> eh, donde, donde, como que, si, 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 donde está el, el internet, la conexión de internet. No, que. Okay. <laughs> Without paying. <laughs> ¿Dónde puede conseguir este hombre internet? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde puede conseguir el, el hombre internet? Free. Free wireless. Ajá, uh -huh, free wireless. O sea, libre, libre de conexión. Libre o de gratis, libre o de gratis. O de gratis, uh -huh. yeah. Recuérdense que esto es lo que mencionábamos uh, yesterday class, I think, wireless. Wireless uh, es inalámbrico, como lo decía Fabricio, uh -huh. pero literalmente eh, con Jorge compartíamos que era eh, sin cables, right? sin cables, obviamente es algo inalámbrico. Sin el LES, solo wire es cable, con cable. Wireless eh, sin cables, right? Ok, that's good, but thank you, Wendy, really nice work. Ok, ¿dónde puede conseguir internet? Vamos a ver, uh, outside the hotel. Eh, y de este y lo otro. Ok, that's good. Then we're going to answer this one. What is the cost of the refrigerator in the men's room? Tatiana. ¿Qué es el, ¿Cuál es el costo de un refrigerador en el cuarto del hombre? Ok, that's good. Esta creo que está easy. You got it right. Así que vamos a pasar a la última. At the end of the conversation, the man decides to. Al final de la conversación, él eligió hacer algo. Ya vamos a ver qué. We're going to listen again this audio in order to understand in a better way, right? Okay, here we go. I hope you can get 10, right? Espero que saquen todas buenas. Ahí va. Hi, I have a reservation for tonight and I just want to check in. Sure, what's your name? Uh, Mike Adams. Okay, let me check here. Um, here's your key to open your door. You're in room 360. Just walk okay. down the hall. You'll see the elevators on your right. Oh, okay. And what time is the restaurant open for breakfast? It serves breakfast from 6.30 to 10 a.m. Oh, okay. And uh, where's the exercise room? I'd like to, you know, run a couple of miles before going to bed tonight. It's on the second floor and it's open until 10 tonight, okay. but the treadmill isn't working. Oh, Oh, well. Um, and one final question. Do you have wireless internet in the rooms? We do oh. for $7.95 a night. Oh, I thought something like that would be free. No, sorry, sir. But you can get free wireless access if you sit in the parking lot on the north side. Oh. You see, the hotel next to us has wireless and... <laughs> well, I'm great. Um, and, uh, oh, forget that. And uh, every room has a refrigerator, right? Well, we can have one put in your room for an additional $10 a night. No, oh, I thought something like that would be included in the price of the room. Sorry, sir. Well, you know, it, it kind of irks me when hotels nickel and dime their customers like this. I mean, I check with Southern. I mean, I check with several. You really should have checked this one too, <laughs> shouldn't you? <yeah, buddy. laughs> 
<laughs> I, I guess what I, uh, I'm all flustered now. I mean, all the other hotels provide these amenities for free. Sorry, sir. It's just the way it is at this hotel. And the bed, is that extra too? Of course. No. Uh, oh, I've had it. I'll just try the hotel across the street. I'm sure they'll, they'll give me better service. Okay, but you'll be canceling your reservation here, so we'll have to charge you a cancellation fee of 50% of the cost of the room. Oh, forget it. I can't win either way. What's my room again? 360. <sighs> okay, that's good. You got it, right? Eh, esa forma de reírse me recuerda a un alumno ahí. <laughs> you know who, right? <laughs> okay, Carlos Alfonso solo le da ahí risa, right? <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, we're going to answer these questions. Uh, where's, where is the main rooms in the hotel? Okay, who got the answer? The main rooms in the Your floor, floor? The second uh -huh. floor. Okay, second or uh, Miguel, what, what you said, Miguel? Third. Third. Okay, we, we got, a, we got a, a little trouble here. Third and second. <laughs> okay, who said third? Levanten la mano, look, it's in third. Okay, that's good. Now raise your hand. Who said third. second floor? Second floor. Second. Okay, okay, we yeah. get a, <laughs> tenemos un empate ahí. Okay, uh, again, third floor, todos los que dicen la tercera planta. Okay, 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 es, es que William está ahí así. <laughs> okay. Él nos apoya a ambos. <laughs> okay, es que equitativo. <laughs> okay, okay, William said this one. Okay, again, Wendy, uh, the second floor. Who said the second floor? Raise your hand. Second. Okay, that's good. Two, three. Okay. No uh, me apoyen mucho. Most of you said uh, <laughs> the second. Okay, the third floor. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sure, really good. <laughs> okay, that's good, Miguel. Okay, we're gonna continue with the second one. What time is the breakfast served in the morning? 6, 13, 6, 13, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, <laughs> okay, uh, where can the man get a free wireless internet connection? Outside of the hotel. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Outside of the hotel. Okay. Outside. Really? That's good. Yes. Somebody yes. Said yes. Here we go. Yeah, sure. Aquí estoy tirando puertas, no piense que no. Okay, that's good. What about this one? What is the cost of the refrigerator in the men's room? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, that's good. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. What did you eat today? What did you eat? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, sure. Nice. Congratulations. <clears throat> okay, and the last one. At the end of the conversation, the man decides to stay at stay the at hotel. hotel anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. anyway. Anyway. Okay, really? Number sure. one. Sure. Number one? Yeah. Number one. Hotel. Find another hotel. Okay, okay. Number three. <laughs> number three or number one? Number one. Number one. Number number one. one. Three. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go again. Okay, who said number one? Okay, four, five. Okay, that's good. Uh, who, who said number three? Raise your hand. <laughs> okay. Okay, Carlos. No entender. Okay, Carlos and Carlos René. 
Eh, los Carlos están en la número 3. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody say this one, right? Here we go. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Yeah, very good. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> Really cute. Oh my God. Ten, right? Five out of five. That's nice. Because you are able to understand uh, intermediate level. That's good. Right? Cool. I like it. Okay. Congratulations, students. You did it really nice. And, and now we are going to continue with today's class. Yes, sure. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's good. Uh, here we go. Basically, we were talking about the hotel, right? And also, right now, I don't know if you got a question. Okay, give me a minute. I don't know if you got a question about the time clauses. Question about this? No? Okay, that's good. If you don't have any question, we're going to uh, practice in a real way. Okay, let's see. We're going to have four uh, example here, you know, of how to use time clauses. Okay, we're going to try to read this, all of this, just in English, right? Because I know that you understand what you read. I know. Okay, we're going to start with Fabricio. Can you help me to read this one, please? Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Before you start reading the purchase order, you have to check every product. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. I got a question for you. Why we add a comma here? Why? 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 Porque. Digamos aquí una pausa o dos pasos, Jacer. Okay. De... We got to a step, right? But, mm -hmm. but why? Hay otra razón ahí más, más específica, Fabricio. Cuando ponemos una coma, cuando el time clauses va. Cuando va otra idea. Ok. Cuando okay. va el inicio. Yeah, thank you. That's good, Mary. Cuando va el inicio, vamos a poner una coma, right? Ok, thank you. Eh, Mary, can you help me with the second one, please? Oh I'm sorry. <laughs> After they pay, we can start placing the package of the, on the truck. On the truck, yeah, really good, nice. This happened the same, right? After they pay, this happened, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. And now we're gonna find them in the middle. Vamos a encontrar esta en medio. Okay, William, go ahead. We are, we are authorities to change Items until we check the purchase order. Order, yeah, really good. Thank you, William. Okay, as you see here, we don't have any comma, right? We don't have any comma because we got it in, in the middle of the time clauses, right? We got it in the middle of the sentence. Okay, and the last one that we're gonna have here, Marvin. As soon as we register the order in your system, you can take it on. Okay, that's good, really nice. As you see, uh, we got a comma here because we got the time clauses at the beginning of the sentence. Tenemos al inicio de la oración el time clauses, por eso ponemos una coma y luego el resultado. Tan pronto como te registres, the order in our system, eh, esa orden en el sistema, you can take it, you can take it home. Come on. Uh, what does it mean this? Como te puedes ir a tu casa, right? Okay, or something like that. That's good. Okay, as you see, guys, uh, this is really easy for use. What we need in order to use this? We have to learn the time clauses, right? Para utilizar esto, tenemos que aprendernos. Como así, before, after, until, uh, as soon as, uh, when, if, ¿Cuál otra vimos? Why. 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 Uh, when. All of those words that we're going to call time clauses, you need to learn in your mind. Si ustedes se las aprenden y las saben en su mente, 
ahí muy powerful, muy poderosa, obviamente lo vamos a poder utilizar al inicio o en medio de una oración. ¿Por qué es importante saber esto? Because you're going to uh, sound better, professionals, y le vamos a poner un pequeño sazón ahí a, 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 a la hora de hablar, right? No nos quedamos con solo eh, I buy shoes and I go home. Yo compro zapatos y, y yo voy a casa. Eso no, no tiene mucho sazón. Tenemos que ponerle sazón. Por ejemplo, uh, you can say before, before I go to buy some shoes, right? Eh, I need to get money. Necesito obtener dinero. Y ahí está simple. Ok, I don't know if you got a question about this. No questions. Mejor Firulay, ahí me está. Lástima, no hablamos ahí, right? We cannot understand that language. Ok, that's good. If you, uh, if everything is clear, like a coffee, like a, um, I don't know, cola champán, that I really like it, we're going to see some example and some real exercise about these kind of houses. Okay. As you see, hasta uh, Pirulay nos está ayudando ya a contestar esto. Okay. Veamos acá, chicos. Uh, what you're going to do? You're going to ask... Uh, basically tell me what is the correct answer according to the, the time clauses with this sentence. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to give you one minute in order to understand the four sentences and then I'm going to ask you randomly. Yeah, and you're going to give me an answer, right? Okay, go ahead, one minute. Try to understand this. If you don't understand any word, you can ask me. Okay. Okay, right. Okay, you got it, right? Okay, 30 Okay, you got it, right? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, as I said before, I'm going to choose randomly. Eh, como lo dije anteriormente, vamos a escogerlo hacia la sala. Ahí. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, let's get started with this. Veamos quiénes son los suertudos o suertudas. Vamos a empezar con... Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. La verdad que les quisiera preguntar a todos. Ok, uh, we're going to start with Carlos Enrique. <laughs> ok, Carlos Enrique, are you there? Yeah, sure. Ok, Carlos Enrique, let's get started with number one. Before I get to hall, I have to take a shower. Ok, ok, that's good. Before, right? Ok, nice. Ok, let's see if it's right. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Carlos Enrique. Congratulations. Before, right? Before I get a job, I get a job, I, ha I have to take a shower. Okay, in this case, this is kind of funny. Esto es un poco chistoso, porque esta no tendría sentido. Tan pronto como consigo un trabajo, voy a tomar un baño. No, right? Siempre nos bañamos, incluso cuando estamos ahí, eh, because of the coronavirus, or because of the vacation, we take a shower, right? A veces ahí un poco tarde, pero we take a shower during the day. Okay, that's good. Okay, number two, let's see. Number two, we're gonna go with, um, okay, Angel Santos. 
Ok, Ángel Santos. Number two. Right. Uh, ons, you, ons, One. the material you can start using it. Ok, ok. And once you pay, pay for the material you can start using it. Using it. Using, using it. it. Yeah, very good. This one is material. Material. Yeah, material. Material. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, remember, keep in mind that in English, uh, va a pasar lo contrario en español. En español nosotros le ponemos ese acento así, fortalecido, strong, eh, material. En inglés es un poco más eh, sin ese acento, más suave, material, right? material. Okay, let's get uh, once, right? Okay, but in this case, Angel, we're gonna use until, until. Obviously, you can use both, but this is the better answer, right? Until you pay, hasta que tú pagues por ese material, puedes, uh, eh, puedes eh, comenzar a utilizar. Okay, but that's good, nice, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go with number three. Okay, let me see number three. Uh, the forehead, forehead, number three. If the change, uh, after you know how much it, the total is. Okay, that's good, nice. If the change, okay, the change, okay. After, you know, okay, that's good, nice. Thank you, forehead. Really nice answer, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, okay, that's good. We're gonna go with the last one, number four. Okay. Uh, Angel, yeah, sure, thank you, Angel. Okay, uh, number four, we're gonna go with Rodrigo. Can you help me with the last one, please? All the workers can go until they finish their work. Okay, that's good. Until, right? All the workers can go until they finish their work. We're gonna see. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Rodrigo. Nice. Congratulations. Okay, as you see, uh, guys, this is really easy, but what we need is to learn. Lo que necesitamos es aprenderlos, eh, a utilizarlos. You need to practice with this time of classes because si ustedes solo se quedan con lo que vimos en esta clase, uh, obviously, we're gonna forget this. Vamos a olvidar esto y no lo vamos a ocupar. Yeah. So that's why you have to use this uh, time of clauses in the daily life as soon as you can. Yeah. Tanto como ustedes puedan. As soon as you can, you can use all of these exercises, and that will be nice, right? Okay. After all of these exercises. We are going to continue with today's class, right? Siempre uso estos. A mí me encanta utilizar los time clauses. Son geniales for me, right? Okay, I hope you can use it too. I don't know if you got a question about this. No? Okay. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, continue with this one. And we got it. This is uh, really beautiful, right? I don't know. It's look pretty <laughs> or stressful, I don't know why. But uh, basically, uh, okay, give me a chance. Okay, okay, this is basically a push order information of a company. Básicamente, esta es una información de una orden de compra. Yeah, sure. Se recuerdan que vimos una al inicio de la, of this course, pero un poco más sencilla. Acá tiene una descripción un poquito mayor, pero it's basically the same. Básicamente lo mismo. This is the name of the company. The, uh, some information, relevant information, date, job, number, order date, otra fecha, de acuerdo a la orden, push order, el número de, de, de ahí de la compra. Vendor, right? This is basically that uh, address job address and uh, 
also some description about what we bought. Okay, in this case, we're gonna see the item, the number of the item, the item descriptions, quantity, unit, price, total, and so on, right? Okay, that's good. But all of this, I know that you understand right now. So that's why uh, we have to answer, obviously, these questions. Vamos a contestar estas preguntas. According to this information, how many items are, the, are, they, are they buying? Uh -huh. Two items. Two. Okay, yeah, sure, thank you. Okay, how, how much is the total price? How much is it? The total price. Uh -huh. How much is the total price? Go ahead, Gabriela. I know you can read that. Oh my God. Six thousand. Yeah, six thousand. Six thousand four hundred fifteen dollar point twenty cents. Twenty cents. Yeah, really nice. Like this, right? It's easy. All of these I know already that you understand. Y comprendo que ya lo manejamos toda esta información. This is really basic. A veces vamos a encontrar unas formas contractadas like this. QTY, que es quantity. Quantity, right? Unit, price, total, todo esto lo vimos. Así que eh, it's really easy for you. Okay, but right now we're going to listen to the audio, right? Porque el que escuchamos fue el de ayer. Así que we're going to go back to the to this page. <laughs> I hope you can enjoy this listening because uh, I think it's really useful for you. Because if you listen to uh, this kind of exercise, basically, basically you're gonna improve your, uh, your understanding. When you hear a people that speak English as a, as a native speaker, right? You're gonna listen and you're gonna understand all the things that the people are gonna say. Okay, that's good. Okay, but right now we're gonna see this. Basically, uh, this is will be about, let me see. Okay, this is will be about hotel reservation too. And we're gonna start with this. Okay, here we go, guys. Pay full attention to this. Hi, I have a reservation for tonight. And your name? It's Nelson, Charles Nelson. Okay, Mr. Nelson. Okay, that's a room for five and... Excuse me? You yeah. need a room for five dollars? I didn't know the special was so good. No, no, no. According to our records, a room for five guests was booked under your name. No, no, hold on. There must be some mistake. Okay, let's check this again. Okay, Mr. Charles C. Nelson for tonight. Ah, there's the problem. My name is Charles Nelson, not Charles C. Nelson. Oh. You must have two guests under the same name. Okay, let me check this again. Uh, okay, here we are. Yeah. Charles Nelson, a room for one for the 19th. Wait, wait. It was for tonight, not tomorrow night. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we have any rooms for tonight. There's a convention going on in town, and uh, let's see. Yeah, no rooms. Ah, come on. You must have something. Anything. Well, we do have some rooms at a renovation with just a rollaway bed. Ah. None of the normal amenities like a TV or working shower or toilet. Oh, man. Come on. There must be something else. Well, let, let me check the computer here. Ah. What? There has been a cancellation for this evening. A honeymoon suite is now available. Great. I'll take it. But I'll have to charge you $250 for the night. Oh, man, I should get a discount for the inconvenience. Well, the best I can give you is a 10% discount plus a ticket for a free continental breakfast. Hey, isn't the breakfast free anyway? Well, only on weekends. I want to talk to the manager. Wait, 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 Mr. Nelson. I think I can give you an additional 15% discount, and I'll throw in a free room for the next time you visit us. That'll be a long time. Okay, that's good. You got it, right? Yeah, sure. Everything is clear. More or less. Okay, basically, uh, this is going to be the same. Uh, you're going to understand what the man's name, right? Charles, right? 
Then we're gonna, uh, the first problem with the reservation is that. ¿Cuál es el primer problema con esa uh, reservación? Uh, Mr. Nelson made a hotel reservation for the, this one, the day, right? Para las fechas, el 19, el 18, o el 20. No vamos a entender this one. And also, uh, you're gonna choose the best answer to this one. At the very beginning, at the conference, a musical, festival, a marathon in the city is making it possible to get another room. Okay, then the Mr. Nelson got a discount. You can understand what was the discount. And also, a breakfast is available on, cuando está habilitado el desayuno, solo que días está habilitado. Weekends, fines de semanas, every day or weekdays. Every day, todos los días, weekdays, ¿Cuándo sería? Weekdays. Uh -huh. Días de semana. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Wendy. Días de semana o de lunes a... Viernes. Yeah, muy bien. Uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, nice. We're going to try to listen again. In order to understand this, then you're going to answer this question. But now I'm going to ask you, one of you, uh, as a specific, right? Voy a preguntarles en específico a, por nombre para verificar ahí que se haya entendido. Ok, that's good. Here we go. Try to listen to this, right? Hi, I have a reservation for tonight. And your name? It's Nelson, Charles Nelson. Ok, Mr. Nelson. Ok, that's a room for five and... Excuse me? You yeah. need a room for five dollars? I didn't know the special was so good. No, no, no. According to our records, a room for five guests was booked under your name. No, no, hold on. There must be some mistake. Okay, let's check this again. Okay, Mr. Charles C. Nelson for tonight. Ah, there's the problem. My name is Charles Nelson, not Charles C. Nelson. Oh. You must have two guests under the same name. Okay, let me check this again. Uh, okay, here we are. Yeah. Charles Nelson, a room for one for the 19th. Wait, wait. It was for tonight, not tomorrow night. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we have any rooms for tonight. There's a convention going on in town, and uh, let's see. Yeah, no rooms. Ah, come on. You must have something. Anything. Well, we do have some rooms under renovation with just a rollaway bed. Ah. None of the normal amenities like a TV or working shower or toilet. Oh, man. Come on. There must be something else. Well, let, let me check the computer here. Ah. What? There has been a cancellation for this evening. A honeymoon suite is now available. Great, I'll take it. But I'll have to charge you $250 for the night. Oh man, I should get a discount for the inconvenience. Well, the best I can give you is a 10% discount, plus a ticket for a free continental breakfast. Hey, isn't the breakfast free anyway? Well, only on weekends. I want to talk to the manager. Wait, 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 Mr. Nelson. I think I can give you an additional 15% discount, and I'll throw in a free room for the next time you visit us. That'll be a long time. Okay, that's good. You got it, right? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, I think in this, uh, you can hear 10, but then the man said uh, an extra number, and you have to... Uh, basically, hacer la suma ahí, the sum, right? And so that's why uh, you're gonna get a result. Okay, but we're gonna start with this. Eh, this one. Eh, la más difícil ahí, ¿quién la quiere hacer? Así a donde preguntamos. Number one, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marlon. Number one. Al fin le pegué a una, creo que le pegué a una al final. <laughs> Vamos a ver si es cierto. Okay, uh, what about the second one? Okay, Angel. The rooms are overbooked for that evening. That evening. Okay, okay. Number one, Wendy. Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, all right. We're talking about that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was a confusion, right? Ah, confusion. Yeah. 
they confuse with another guess. Okay, that's it. But, but you got the idea, Wendy, that's nice, cool, right? <laughs> okay, remember that only time we learn, even if we make mistakes, don't worry. Okay, uh, we're gonna say this one, Mr. Nelson made a hotel reservation for the, let me see, Miguel. Miguel, Miguel. Uh, music festival. I'm sorry, uh, this one, this one, Miguel. Uh, ah, the, the second, uh, 19th. 19th, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay, that's good. Here we go. This one, right? Number one. Yeah, uh, Miguel, number one. <laughs> yeah, number one. Okay, that's good. Here we go. Oh, my God. He said 18, right? Uh, why 18 and not 19? Porque había hecho una reservación. Y en la reservación estaba una fecha adelantada. Right? Mm -hmm. Y él la quería para esta fecha. Solo que no la mencionó, sino que se mencionó esta. Y él, él dijo que era la fecha anterior de ese día. Tonight's room. Right? Entonces, obviamente, era un número men. Ok, that's good. But, but nice, nice, cool. Right? You got the idea. That's amazing. <laughs> ok, thank you, Miguel. Ok, uh, this one. Uh, let me see, Marvin. <laughs> Do you want to do it? <laughs> oh my God. It's more difficult. Okay. I didn't understand very well, but... A conference, number one. A conference in the city. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good, nice. Here we go, Marvin. Okay. Yeah, sure, nice. Uh, yeah, sure. Really nice. Vamos a tirar unos cuantos cuetes ahí, silbadores y todos los masas que estén prohibidos, right? Okay, that's good. Okay, we're gonna go with the discount. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I can see your faces, right? Really happy. Okay, let me see. <laughs> okay, uh, William, go ahead, William. Uh, 15%. This one? Yes. Okay, are you sure, William? I'm going to give you a tips. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, remember that at the beginning he said uh, an amount, right? To una cantidad. Then he said another one. Y las dos tendrían que sumarse. Okay, but here ah, we ah, sería, es cierto. Entonces sería this one, right? Es que yo logré escuchar que él mencionó el 10%, pero le dieron el 15. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. No, o sea, medio logré escuchar, pero okay. no. Okay. Yo digo que... no William, eh, if you can use a, a comodín, you can use it, right? You can mention a name. <laughs> Puede elegir ahí el público o una persona en específico y ahí le ayuda. Una llamada telefónica, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Y ayuda en el Ok, let's go. Ajá. Que me ayuden ahí entonces porque... Yo... Ok. Mencioné <laughs> el 20%. 25. 25. 25. 25. Okay, that's good. Uh, accept I in 25, William? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> nice work. Okay, that's good. And the last one that we have is Brayfax. It's available on what? Uh, week, right? What part of the week? Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it's a kind of four, right? But uh, go ahead, uh, Tatiana, go ahead with this one. Weekend. Weekend, this one. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Uh, Tatiana suena segura, así que vamos a hacer la respuesta. 
Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Congratulations, right? Okay, basically, guys, uh, you got four out of six. Eh, tuvieron cuatro de seis. Vamos bien, vamos mejorando. That's nice. Eh, si nos equivocamos, no se preocupen. Equivocarse está bien, es parte del proceso. Lo bueno es que se aprendió, right? Algo nuevo, something new. Okay, nice, cool. Okay, right now we're gonna continue with today's class. And I think uh, we're gonna work in groups, but I'm gonna give the instruction what you are going to do in groups, right? Okay, here we go. Yeah, sure. Okay, nice. Basically, uh, students, uh, what you're gonna do here is complete the following course order. Okay. Básicamente, eh, como siempre hacemos grupos de five, four, two, sometimes one. No, right. In this case, not. Ok, algunas veces uno porque todos tienen una mala conexión y solo se queda alguien ahí. Pero espero que no sea el caso. Ok, what you gonna do here? You have to uh, complete this exercise, a push order. But, when you finish to give a you know what you did before porque esto ya lo hicimos cuando terminen de dar un details quantity unit price aquí el detalle de lo que eh, van a comprar eh, la cantidad cuántas cosas van a comprar si es un teléfono por ejemplo three cell phones unit price eh, la, el precio de la unidad luego aquí hacemos el total de las tres y acá ya queda una información hay cuatro espacios we got a four people right Si solo son tres en el grupo, just three. But when you finish to complete the push order, create, please create, let me see, a sentence describing some action you can do by using time clauses. Al terminar de completar esto, esto está facilito, eh, usted dice, por ejemplo, uh, en este caso Wendy dice, ah, yo voy a comprar un teléfono. Cell phone, right? iPhone X, iPhone 10, whatever you want. Voy a comprarme dos iPhone, two iPhone, right? Cada uno vale 1,000. Entonces, the total will be 2,000. Ya tiene su información. Luego me va a crear una oración describiendo algo de, de, que tenga que ver con ese producto, utilizando los time clauses. For example, until I receive the product, I know the quality. ¿Cuál es la time clause here? Until. Until, really good. Until. Muy bien, nice. Hasta que reciba ese producto, coma, como va al inicio, ustedes pueden poner al final, yo voy a saber la calidad. Acá pueden ponerlo en futuro si ustedes quieren. Right? En ese caso no es necesario, puede que se sobreentiende, pero si quieren ponerlo está nice. I will know or I know the quality. Voy a saber la calidad hasta que reciba el producto. Si no lo he recibido, obviamente no voy a saber la calidad. Ok, that's good. You got it, right? Sí, it's clear. What you gonna do? Yeah, sure. Complete the push order. Van a complementar. Esto es fácil, solo ponen... Eh, Specific information. Nombre de la compañía. Yeah. Nombre del vendedor. Chip two. Then a details, quantity, price, and total. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're gonna work in groups, and let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm sure. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, guys. Working groups. Help each other, and if you got a question, I'm going to be there in order to help you, right? Okay, si necesitan ayuda, yo voy a llegar y me dicen, teacher, I don't, I don't know what to say this, I don't know what does it mean this, please, can you help me? And so on, right? Okay. Repeat the class. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Wendy. Yeah, probably, I will do it. <laughs> okay, nice, cool. <laughs> okay, practice each other. Don't be shy, you can do it. 
you can practice as many times as you can. Nice, good luck. Okay, Daisy Resinos accept the invitation to the to the private zone room, right? In Angel 2. Daisy, hello. Hola. Supuesto ya le había dado a aceptar, teacher, pero no sé qué pasó. But, but nothing happens. Okay, I'm going to give you that one. Pero ahorita, ahorita entra. Okay, that's good. Nice. What about you, Angel? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Angel. Are you there? Yeah, sure. Cool. Okay, nice. We're gonna wait for a while because they need time for them. Um, think what uh, they are going to do. So we're going to wait for a while. I'm going to give you one minute because basically uh, they are going to worry uh, completing this exercise, this first order. Basically, they are going to describe all of this information about selling a product. Also, they can add obviously a date, first order number, phone address, but the most important point here is uh, to make a description right about the product that they are going to buy, the quantity and the unit price. And this is important because if they got uh, more than one, obviously they are going to make a mathematic um, operation here and they're gonna get a total when once they get this they are going to describe or basically create a sentence by describing these um, information by using the time clauses right okay here we go we're gonna wait for a while okay Hola. Hello, hello. ¿Qué tipo de repuesto? Oh. Un alternador. Mm, el Eros. Motor de arranque. Motor de arranque. Okay. O una... lo, lo embriague, los embriague, los los ¿cómo se llama esto? Frenos. Ah, uh, the brake. The brake. Brake. Starter es el motor de arranque. Starter. Bujías. Bujías. Ah, par plug. Par plug. Ok, par plug. <laughs> no par plus. <laughs> ok. 
That's good. Um, you gonna... ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos tenemos ya? Como es. Uno por cada uno ya tenemos más de cuatro respuestas. Va, entonces démosle forma. Ok. Ok. Calidad, dice. Quality. Uh, ah, o no, cantidad, a quantity. Uh, for example, Daisy, if, if you're going to buy a uh, hard plug, las bujillas, va a decir cuántas. Four. Uh -huh. Ajá, ok. That's the quantity. Then you have to uh, basically to make the math operation, va a ser la suma matemática y va a sumar. Si vale sí, 10, yes, okay. 10 plus 4, uh, total is 100. For example, right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, guys, continue working. So I'm going to go to another group. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, welcome. Bye. Bye bye. Ah, pero no le agarra los cerros ahí antes. ¿no? Es que para el formato. Uh -huh. el ah, qué mal. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, uy, me faltó un número. Oh, yeah. Dirección. Ok. <laughs> I, I like vendor, right? Okay. <laughs> It's funny. Gainsito. Yeah. Dirección. Final calle, ¿no? Eh... In the street. <laughs> Y, y callejón sin salida, ¿cómo se dice el tichi? Yeah, I forget it, I forget it. I'm going to look for that. Me lo olvidé, pero sí, la sabía, la sabía. Uh, mañana es la evaluación. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Claro, claro. bien. <laughs> ¿Cómo digo que el calle principal, teacher? Del M. Uh -huh. sí. Main Street. Main Street. Main Street. Main Street. Main. Y... Uh, main... Uh, yeah, like this. Street. Okay. S-T-R-E-E-T. -E -E yeah. Street. Okay. Uh. ¿Qué más? No, no, solamente. No. ¿Dónde? ¿Qué? Ok. Ok. Um, cell phone, fijimos, ¿verdad? Pero como son cuatro, pongamos de diferente marca, digamos. Como él quería por, por persona. ¿Really? Una yeah. línea. Yeah, one uh, item per person. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. later on you have to make a sentence using the time clauses uh, for each one of them. For example, Fabricio said cell phone. It's an example, right? Él mm -hmm. dice que él va a utilizar teléfono. Entonces ahí escribe the quantity y todo esto. Entonces él dice, eh, before I buy a cell phone, Uh, I will get the money. That's an example. Entonces, ya ahí ya me gusta eh, utilizando ese artículo. Ok. Ok, that's good. ¿Cuántos celulares? Uno cada uno, ¿eh? Right. Sí, uno cada uno. Pone cuatro. Este, podríamos poner... Va a poner más, más artículos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh, los accesorios, digamos el el cargador, audífonos eh, digamos que no, el, el protector de pantalla oh, también el mano como, que si viene nuevo, como no es en el centro que lo estamos comprando ¿verdad? entonces viene <risa> <risa> de, viene con cargador entonces este el protector de pantalla el como es que se llama esta otra cosa para para, para cuando se cuando se le cae a usted el case uh, cover case. Cover. Okay. Cover. Uh, case cover o cover ah, yeah, yeah. cover case 
Covergate. Ajá, vencer el Covergate. Y el otro sería vidrio templado, como no sé cómo se. <risa> Glass, glass. glass. Ah, glass. Solo, solo glass. No, pero. Sí. Glass, glass. Yes. ¿Cuánto le ponemos? Ok, that's good. Nice. Good. Cool. $10. Okay, I, I like your work. Continue doing things like that. I'll see you in a moment, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay teacher. Hey, que caro no está poniendo. <risa> el que me dijeron el... uh, un poco no. se escribe focus o una lámpara también okay. uh -huh. uno te vas a comprar uno de price gran paja del dólar cinco dólares ponerlo From Dollar City. Uh -huh. <laughs> Five dollars. Umbrella. Umbrella. Oh. <laughs> What? Ya van pisto. <risa> no, es que son de la teadola. Lleva sombrilla, lleva capa, lleva gina, todo. <risa> Yo voy a comprar. <coughs> Hay calcetines, hay... No sé cómo diferente. Ah. Ok. Glasses. Hats. Ah, cabal, no hay unos glasses. <laughs> Para la fina y el fin de semana. Son glasses. Con... Con sombría y leche en la playa. <laughs> Y vamos a llevar la lámpara por si se hace de noche. Ah. Se hace de noche, cabrón. Ay, ya tenemos una oración. Eh, with glasses, right? Even in the night. Vaya, ahí está. Vaya, mi oración sería Before Pain Treat the product. A ver. A ti. Y abajo, Ay. abajo ya no tiene más imagen. Eh, lo que podemos hacer es, es darle más espacio a la... Es que le robó la imagen a ti. <risa> <risa> Okay, but uh, well, what we can do, Rodrigo, is to uh, um, to open a new window. Wait. Eh, Tatiana. Hola. Ah, ya que tiene control de un solo ahí. Ah, okay, okay, that's good. Uh -huh. Ah, nice. <laughs> that's cool. I want to say that. Uy, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Okay. ¿Lo anotamos así, aparte? Lo voy a cortar para hacerle más espacio. Okay. Ya que lo borra todo. <risa> ah, no. That's good. Who is working? Tatiana is working. O oh, aquí a la paz, tal vez. Ahí, ajá. Ok, nice. Ok, guys, that's a nice work. Continue doing things like that. I'll see you in a moment, right? Cool. Ok, teacher. Ok.
Okay, hello, hello. That's nice. It looks so good. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Oh, that's wonderful, right? <laughs> We're gonna talk about camera Canon. Canon T6, T5. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, PlayStation 5, that's good. Plasma TV. 50, uh, yeah, 55 inch. Yeah. That's, good. That's good, nice, cool. I don't know if you got a question, guys, about um, the sentence that you're gonna create using time clauses. No question? Teacher, yo hice una, pero no estoy seguro si está bien redactada la última parte. Okay, tell me. Vaya, yo hice, before you buy a TV, Okay. You have to visit many shops. Okay, you have to visit many shop. shops. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good, amazing. I got it, right? It's like, uh, you know, asking in many shops, something like that. Oh, okay, yes. But that's good, that's good. I like it, like this, it's okay. Así como la tienes, la genial. Okay, cool. Very good. William. William? Bueno, este, yo... La, la cláusula, ¿verdad? Yep. Yo puse como... Bueno, yo, el, el mío es el ejemplo de las cámaras. Yeah. Entonces, eh, puse... Before receiving your products, yeah. check that the quantities are complete and there are no missing parts. Okay, yeah, that's good, William. Nice. Good work. Nice. My example, my example is PlayStation 5. The quantity yes. 1, unit price is 600. Yeah. Total 600. And description and before taking this product, check it, check it if it does not go with bumps. Okay, okay, that's good. Marvin, can you repeat that again? I'm sorry. Before taking this product, okay. check if it does not go with bumps. Un golpe. Um, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. Nice, amazing, good work. Okay, basically, uh, that's all for this work. But uh, I would like to hear, let me see, uh, Marvin, can you set the unit price again? Unit price. Unit price. Uh, 600. Okay, that's good. And uh, uh, Marvin is 600. 600. 600. Okay. That's good. Nice. Okay, Jorge, can you read the total from your plasma TV? Okay, it is 1,000. Okay, thank you. William, can you read the, the total from the Canon camera? Perdón, teacher, ¿cómo fue la...? <laughs> Can you read the total? The total, right? Ah, sería... Siempre me olvida cómo se dice eso. <laughs> six thousand, Eva. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hundred. Ah, perdón, sí. Sería Juan de Six, ¿verdad? Yeah. Nineteen. Ok. Six, nineteen. Ok, ok, six hundred. Ah, six hundred, nineteen, perdón. Ok, nineteen is like this. Ah, perdón. Six hundred, nine, nine. Ninety. 90, 690. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 690, yeah, really good, Williams. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Nice, amazing. Uh, now, guys, you are, you are able to use the time clauses. That's really easy. Esto es muy fácil y realmente nos da un nivel más, eh, más pro, right? 
Uh, so that's why you have to use as many times as you can the time clauses until, before, after, and so on, right? Thanks for your work. Continue talking about your job, but in English, I'll see you in a moment, right? Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay. Son las bujías. Esa sería la parte que yo voy a decir. Ok. ¿Estás listo? ¿Listo? Sí. Ok. Me gustaría escucharte. Vamos. Tenemos un problema. No tengo PC para mostrarte. Uh, screen and uh, with the with the level. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, this is the problem for the moment. Uh, you, you can show me the screen. Uh, uh, the screen because I don't don't have PC. Ah, okay, okay. No, don't worry. And yeah. anybody has. has Okay. Uh, okay, but, but don't worry about it. If you can tell me the examples, the sentence that you did, it will be fine. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, product is the yield is a very okay. one quantity is two. Okay. Uh, price unit uh, dollars total uh, 20 20 dollars uh, if i had bearing not when when until had the bear mm -hmm. i i i i can re can repair the the car the car oh okay, okay that's good thank you miguel nice good job okay somebody else Daisy. Okay, Daisy, go ahead, Daisy. <laughs> Fruit. Um, one, quantity for a unit price of four. Um, yeah. Total twelve. Um company tired the idea from two 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 five one two three three okay that's good tiene que ser todo encabezado no 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 it's okay just uh, say the description ah okay ah okay uh, what about the sentences Daisy la, la oración ahí con el time clauses la hizo <laughs> okay, eh, recuerden que vamos a hacer la descripción y luego una oración eh, utilizando las time clauses. ¿Cuáles eran las time clauses? Eh, oh. When, until, before, after, and so on, right? Así como me lo dijo. Mm, no hizo oración. Okay. Okay, try to finish right now. Uh, we're gonna continue with Carlos Enrique, and luego al final va, me va a decir Daisy. Okay, Carlos Enrique, go ahead. Description is started. Okay. Perdón, perdón. Start. Started. Start. Yeah. Eh, eh, quantity. Quantity one. Yeah. Unit price one hundred dollar, cien dollar. Yeah. Uh, to, to, total one hundred dollar. Okay. The oration oración is. Uh, okay. The sentence. Uh, 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 
o la, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Sería la oración, es lo que... Sí, sí, la oración, vamos, go ahead. It's the sentence. Until I get this started, I know the quality. Ah, ok, ok, that's good. Thank you, Carlos. Good job. That's good. Ok, José Ángel, ready? Ready. <coughs> the, the tiles... Uh, lies. Quality, quality, quantity, two. Okay. Price unit, 30. Okay. Total, 16. El, la sentence, don't remove, don't remove the plastic wheel, did wash payment. Okay, okay, that's good. Nice. Good job, Jose. Congratulations. Nice. Hey, Daisy, did you finish? No? No, teacher. Hey, Daisy, continue working. And uh, cuando terminemos las sesiones, ahí me lo dice, please. Right? Sería como, como para qué necesito estas... Eh, relacionado al artículo que usted seleccionó, eh, va a crear una oración utilizando las time clauses. Por ejemplo, before, after, until, as soon as, eh, y las otras que vimos. Cada uno tiene su significado. Por ejemplo, antes de hacer esto, debo de revisar lo otro. Un ejemplo. Before to do this, I have to check this. Eso es todo. Yep. And after the... And after the after the comprar by yeah by okay eh, antes de comprar um, um, enviar send antes Comprar, enviar. Send. Cotización. <risa> ok, ok. Antes de comprar, eh, mandar la cotización. Muy bien. Créeme esa pregunta que le ayude ahí Miguel, Carlos Enrique. Esa oración, perdón. That's it. Está bien así, algo así, algo. Okay, antes yeah. de comprar. Like, like, oh, ya va agarrando ¿verdad? idea. Antes de comprar okay. el producto. Por favor, enviarme en la cotización. Y es un baile. Ok. Ok, me lo okay. hacen y me pregunto al final. Ok, thank you. Uh, this is yeah, okay. Big, right? Thank you. Ok, that's good. Amazing. Ok, I'll see you in a moment, guys. Okay. The cell phone. I will install free fire. Really? <laughs> 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 yeah, me escuché mucho. <laughs> Okay. 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 Eso, eso te iba a decir yo puedo fregar pero te has puesto jugando Free Fire <laughs> ok uh, are you ready guys yes yes teacher okay. go ahead I would like to hear you just uh, you have to mention the detail quantity and unit price and total and according to that uh, item you're gonna tell me the sentence right go ahead ok y, y, excuse me, y siempre tenemos que eh, decir la parte de arriba. Company. No, 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 esa company no, esa solo era para ver ahí que, que sí pudiera. Ah, right. Para que trabajen. Teacher. No, no, no. Come on. Uh, no, it's not for that, right? Lo que más nos costó. Yeah. Ok. Ok, so... Yep. Okay, it's the cell phone brands Samsung mm -hmm. uh, for 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 unit unit okay. price is se me ve la se me va la la señal del link. <laughs> okay. 
is 1,463. Yeah. 460. Okay. 460. Yeah. Okay, y la oración es after comparing the price between Samsung and Apple, we will buy Samsung cell phone. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Really nice work, Carlos Alfonso. Okay, thank you. Good. Okay. Okay, and the tile cover case for quantity for unit, unit price $10, total $40. And the sentence is we check the invoice and quantity before we pay it. Okay, okay, that's good. Amazing memory. Nice. Congratulations. Okay, Fabricio, go ahead. Uh, Marlon, primero. Uh, Marlon, Mar Marlon, yeah. sí, Marlon, le tocan los, los screens. Okay. Screen. okay, Marlon. Okay, the king cyber temperate glass. Yep. Quantity, quantity four. Yep. Unit price fifteen dollar. Total um, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Sixty, sixty. Sixty, okay. Yeah. Screensaver. Yeah. Okay, what is it? It's my turn. <laughs> okay, go ahead. What is it? The tiles, Bluetooth, headset, brand, Samsung. Quantity for units. Unit price, $35. Total, $140. Uh, my sentences after receiving the cell phone, I will stand free fire. Oh, okay, yeah, that's <laughs> that, that, that was fun, right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay nice. Good job. I, I really like your sentences, right? Okay, thank you, Marlon, so much. And all of you guys, Carlos, Mary, and Fabricio, that's a nice team. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll see you in a moment. Uh, if you can continue work uh, talking about Free Fire, I mean about your work, okay. you can do it, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Really? <laughs> okay, Tatiana. I'm gonna try to do something for you in that in that test, right? Okay, guys, are you ready? History the homework. Um, <laughs> okay, don't worry. We're gonna get tense. Vamos a sacar de no se preocupe. Okay, are you ready, guys, for this activity? Eso creemos. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. I would like to hear you, right? Eh, la descripción del inicio, esa solo era para complementar. Me van a decir solo los details. Eh, quantity, unit price, uno por cada uno. Right? Bye. Y, y cree es que ya habíamos dicho como que íbamos a decir antes la descripción, ¿verdad? Pero puedo decir los, la, el cuadrito de details, quantity, unit price, in total. Ya, yeah, después... yeah, sure. ¿Qué? Yeah. Ajá, va. Ok, go ahead. Ah, pues puede decir Tatiana y Wendy ese cuadrito. Ok. Uh, details, la quantity, one, unit price, five dollars, total, five dollars. Uh, details, umbrella, quantity, two, unit price, one, total, two. Details, glasses, quantity, one, unit price, five, total, five. Details had quantity one unit price two dollars total two dollars. That's good, amazing. Wendy, before paying, paying check the price. I will buy umbrella before this price. Why? Why it's funny? I use glasses. As soon as I leave home, I will wear the hat. The hat. 
Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you. Nice, cool. As soon as I leave home, I will really have. Yeah, really good. I like it. Thank you so much. That's a nice work. Okay, guys, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, because of the time, we're going to go back to the main session. I will see you in a moment, right? Okay, bye bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. Good. Good evening. Uh, because of the time, we're gonna run quickly, right? I don't know what's happened with this class, but all <laughs> we're gonna, uh, you know, stall five or ten minutes. But that's nice. Okay, uh, I'm going to pass the attendance list again. Uh, when you hear your name, please just say present teacher. I'm here. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. Marvin? I'm present teacher. Okay, thank you, Marvin. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Carlos Antonio Mejia Hernandez. All right. I think Carlos couldn't uh, attend today class. Okay, Carlos Enrique Martinez Genoves. Okay, Carlos Enrique Martinez. Uh -huh. Say present, I'm here, teacher. Carlos Enrique Martinez Genoves. Okay, I think Carlos is. Okay, thank you, Carlos. That's good. Okay, and eh, Fernando Azul Roldan Torres. No, right, I think. Okay, that's good. Okay, nice, good job. Okay, guys. Time. Uh, that's it for today's class. Thanks for being here. Uh, I feel, you know, so happy to see you today. And I'm gonna work on the homeworks <laughs> on the platform, and then I'm, I'm gonna try to answer and give a solution to that problem that we are having right now. Eh, así que no se preocupen. Siempre la plataforma a veces nos va a tirar mal para que nosotros ustedes pongan a trabajar al teacher. Y pues yo les digo a ustedes, es así, es así como ustedes lo pusieron, y ahí aprendemos más. Ok, that, that's the idea, right? Ok, uh, that's it for today's class, guys. Mañana, don't forget, uh, we're going to complete the samples. Vamos a completar la, la, la encuesta. Así mm -hmm. que eh, tienen que mandar una captura de, de, de la de estado, right? Ok, no, no de lo que hicieron, si no, desde cuando han finalizado mandan una captura que sí lo hicieron y, y con su nombre completo no de lo que ponen, ustedes pueden poner ahí mire, eh, Insafor me sentí muy genial Insafor Insafor hecho ahí I don't know, whatever you want eso es de ustedes, así que eh, that's good and that's it for today's class pleasure to see you today Bye bye, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is the last class. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. 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 everyone. Bye. 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 Go to play free fire. Minimum. Ya nos vemos en Libia, Carlos. Sí, ahorita, ahorita. Cinco minutos. ¿Qué mandaron de.? Bienvenidos, invitan a unirse a una reunión. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tatiana. <laughs> Tatiana, uh, can you say that again? Eh, mandaron un al WhatsApp que decía, bienvenidos, se le invita a unirse a una reunión. Ah, ok, ok. Uh, uh, en, hmm. Pero no dice nada, no dice hora ni nada. Ok, ok, y creo que fue un error, era de otro grupo, así que... Si no, ahí le vamos a mandar ahí un dato. Yo creo que fue error, yo creo que fue error, teacher, porque yo al inicio ingresé a esa sesión y por eso me tardé en llegar a esta que era correcta. Estaba otro estudiando. 
Loruco. Ajá. Ah, ok, otras caritas ahí, hermosas, right. Así como, <risa> este no es mi teacher. <risa> ok, no, no tan hermosa como las caras que vemos ahorita, pero ahí está. Ajá, en el otro pero solo guapo. <risa> ok, no es Ok, eh, okay guys, take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Okay, good night. Bye. 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 Bye.